But what is the power of the blessings of a Vaishnava? This is story is exhibiting that because Kaliya had the blessings of his wives, Krishna showed special mercy to him. Therefore, by all means, at all costs, the first and foremost priority of our life is to receive the heartfelt blessings and become very dear to a devotee. To become dear to a great devotee of the Lord is the supreme perfection of life because when you become dear to a devotee, you are dear to Krishna. And Krishna, what he does may be a mystery, but he will send you back to Godhead simply because of you are endeared by a devotee of the Lord. And this is the proof. The blessings and the prayers of a great Vaishnav never go in vain. They are absolute, as much as Krishna is absolute. And they will have their effect. Just as Krishna gives special attention to his devotee to do whatever is required to send him back to Godhead, similarly Krishna will, will give that same attention to anyone who is dear to his devotee. And we have seen in our own congregation people who are completely against this movement, but because their child has become a devotee and they are naturally dear to them, even though they may be offensive and everything else, in this life or the next, they all become devotees. They ultimately all become liberated and go back to Godhead. Undoubtedly, to the extreme of Hiranyakashipu, in the same way of the Nagapatnis, Prahlad Maharaj was always praying for his father, always preaching to his father. And because of those prayers and because of his natural affection for Hiranyakashipu, Hiranyakashipu was liberated by the Lord himself. So if you love your parents, if you love your aunties and uncles, and if you love your children, and if you love all these other people of, that are near and dear to you, who are telling you, oh, please come home, if you really want to help them, you become dear to Krishna. You become a pure Vaishnav, like the Nagapatnis, or like Sarvabhoma. And to the degree you become dear to the Lord, everything dear to you becomes dear to the Lord. And Krishna will give special affection, special attention, and guaranteed he will liberate them. And to the degree you surrender your life to Krishna, to that degree, he will take special concern for everything in relationship in your life. That is his promise. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It is said by Rupa Goswami that when we chant the holy name, Krishna is personally dancing upon our tongue. The tongue is like a hood of a serpent. <laughs> is it not? It's the closest thing in our body that resembles the hood of a serpent. Most of our tongues are like serpents. All the poisons they emit through all the nonsense talk and all the criticism. Just chant Hare Krishna. Just let Krishna dance upon our tongue. And all the poisons will start coming out. And when they come out, it will hurt very bad. It will be very painful. But just allow him to continue dancing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And very soon, if we simply become dear to the Vaishnavas and continue allowing Krishna to dance upon our serpentine hooded tongue, we are sure to be delivered, purified of all contaminations, and our original natural love of God revived. You are listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.